Hey guys, just want to say thanks for supporting the video. If you want to catch these games as they're being played live, check out the Twitch link in the description down below. Also linked below is my Twitter, where if you guys want to interact with me, I'll do my best to do so. If you want to get notified on when these videos go up, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you're feeling generous, leave a like. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this upcoming adventure, and I will see you guys on the other side. What? Oh, there we are. Um, sorry, I was just looking at technical stuff on my end. Um, so, we have discussed briefly what we're going to do. I have decided I'm going to take the Black Knight Greatsword up to Fire Plus 5. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but that's the goal. Okay, so I don't need to go to the place of death to get the um, amber for the blackness since uh, Travis is going to imbue my weapon with fire for me. I just gotta go find... Um, go make the jump. Oh, well, at that point, I may as well just do it myself after you give me the stone. I can't drop the stone. That's why you have to give me the oh, sword. Oh, can, can you not drop those? No. And that makes sense. Two and three, you can no longer drop those type of items. I mean, I mean, it makes sense, really. Right. That's why I said you have to just give me the sword, and I'll do it for you. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go make the jump and hopefully not whip it into the lava. Um, after this, I need to go kill the pursuer in a couple different places. Oh, so, uh, what's your soul? Oh, well, that's not good. What's not good? What's well, not good? Uh, I got cursed. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna just run upstairs for a moment. Uh, I may or may not have got stabbed. Oh, he left. I believe you're going to have to rest at the bonfire and reset it. Nah, I mean, that's fine. So I didn't know the blue sword cursed you. It also powers him up. Well, that's lovely. I kind of forget that it does curse because I don't ever get stabbed by it. If I can help it. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, if I had a choice. Also, I'm going to be checking some of the random dudes with, like, fragrant branches. Oh. Uh. Right. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with this. What? Uh, just the two dudes. Okay, that chest was not worth it. Uh, Somehow that one chest that's in the corner. Surprising. Um, in the Shaded Ruins. That dude, um... If you were to waste a fragrant rain on him like I just did for the sake of science. Um You get the sorcery repair. Oh that's a long dash. That's a long dash. I didn't expect that dash to be so long for Matt Captain. I don't think their dash has a distance limit. I think it's uh just however whenever, far they want dash. Whenever they get close enough to strike. Good to know, cause he leaped for me. He uh, leaped for me. Uh, okay, so. Oh, that jump isn't what it was before. 
That's a petrified dragon bone. Yep. <laughs> so, where would you find that ember now? You know where you fight the pursuer and take the crow? Uh, to the lost yeah. Facil? The ember is now where the crow drops you off. Huh. I assumed you try to open that up earlier for people. Either that or they realized it was really, really dumb to put it where they put it. <laughs> well, I don't need to kill this pursuer, right? What do you mean this pursuer? The one in the iron keep. No, that's just the ring of blades. Ring of Blades plus one? Yeah. Well, I should probably kill him then. Considering I am actually a blade build this time. By the way, there is not a Nestus by the uh, Crow Lady Blacksmith this time around. It's a fragrant branch in there. I don't know how you're gonna feel about the DLC bosses at the end of the day. <laughs> Are they that good? Well, most people generally consider the DLC bosses to be the best bosses in this game. Oh, that's concerning. I actually mean that with slightly less snark than usual. <laughs> I do probably want to get some more stamina, I think. Fighting the Pursuer gives me a good example of that. Oh, well, I just got full on comboed by him. Who, the Pursuer? Yeah. I'm not doing good against them <laughs> in this fight. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's really awkward. So, just don't fight him. No, I want that ring. I want that ring. Just ask me for mine. I could, but I'm, I'm gonna earn it. I'm gonna earn it! See you guys next stream. <laughs> uh. Got the jokes. Come on, Pursuer. Anyhow, I need to get good enough at fighting him so that way I can kill him in the Bastille. Those encounters are actually weaker. I mean, that's good, but...
I might go back for that ring of binding if this keeps up. Maybe I should be blocking his attacks. If you don't have high agility, yeah. Oh, that goes through that. Good to know. Uh, blue sword? Yeah. Blue sword goes through that. Good to know. Yeah, I, uh, was like, oh, I'm now on the other end of that sword. That's unfortunate. I assume repeated curses lowers your max health. Yes. It's like dying, but without dying. Okay. Okay, I am super struggling, but... Okay, Pursuer. Ah, stabbed again by the fucking blue sword. I actually managed to stagger him somehow. 
Yeah, he has a stagger threshold. It's just it's stupidly hard to hit. Okay, last blast. Uh... There we go. You got him? Yep. Congrats! I know I said that like a sarcastic jerk, but I promise I didn't mean it that way. Well, I'm glad, because my poor HP. <laughs> okay, so let's let's play a bonus round game. How many Estus Flask shards do you have? Uh, I currently have eight. Okay, so you've, you're at eight Estus. Yep, eight plus two. Okay. Why are you at? There, I can see uh, I will tell you in a moment because I am trying to double check a few locations. Is there um, anything down in that uh, fire drake pit? Yeah, the key to the uh, second DLC. Okay, so I should probably do that, could I? Yeah. Be warned, go in there with zero souls. Okay. There you are, you undead hollows.
know what I found out ended up being. Twinkling Titanites, moving Silky Stones, moving Silky Stone, Human Oh Atlas. yeah, uh... Do they just leave random items, or do you trade them for items? The Smooth and Silky stuff? Yeah. It's random, but it's from a, like, pool. There's a Fragrant Branch of Fjord in the gutter. For whatever reason, I feel like unless I'm dumb, I think there is a Estus shard in the gutter. I mean, it would probably, unfortunately, make a lot of sense for there to be. Yep, there's the Dull Lambert. Open up this way. Oh, there's a knight in here that I missed, apparently. Oh, that's where the antiquated key is. Wherever that's used for. Okay, that you needed that key to trigger the other pursuer by where the one blacksmith is, like where you got that shard, where I told you you could skip the runes and tunnels. If you got the antiquated key. Oh, okay. Like, that pursuer will not show up until you get the key. So I needed that. Yeah.
four. Interesting. Okay. Hide the night guard. Or sight the night shard. <laughs> Weird. What's weird? Um, the blacksmith dude didn't move after I rested at the bonfire. You have to light the torch. Oh, uh, okay. For whatever reason, I thought I had to give him an amp, like one of the uh, ambers first. <laughs> I don't know why that was my thought process. Hey, there's a twinkling titanite in there. Or how far? Uh, you should also look at your hair. Why? And the back of your character. Why is there like a dark plan or whatever? Interesting. There's the pursuer. significantly less health.
that guy was about ready to do something, and I don't know what it was. <laughs> but I'm afraid it was explode. Who, the pursuer? Yeah. Did he hit you with blue sword? No. I don't think he has an explosion attack. But he might. Well, he was, uh... Doing the whole, like... Sounding of, like, charging up something, so... He's gonna do something. Uh, so I got the one with the silver, uh, serpent ring. Um. <sighs> Don't remember where the other one is. Okay. <sighs> That's because you have no idea where it's at. Uh, warp to the salt fort. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me a second to get to a place where I can. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's through uh, that locked door, right? Or, mm, no, that's not the room. That's not the room. Uh, can I... No, I'm either going to... Okay. Managed to not die doing that. Do you like to know things I've learned? <laughs> so far. About what? The gutter. That it's horrible. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So do we think the gutter is the worst of the series of terrible decisions? Without a doubt. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm at the salt fort. Okay, head back across over to where the one dude is. Strayed. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but for a moment, for just a moment, I forgot how to lock on. I've done that before. <laughs> I have done that before, if it makes you feel better. Yep, you're not finding this one. Nope, no sorry. You're not finding that Estes shard. There's one in the gutter. God. Also, I got invaded by Forlorn. Yep, that's one of the locations he can invade. <laughs> I told you there's like 12 of them. Why did I get invaded before then? Because he's not guaranteed to invade you the first time. Okay, well, you know what? I don't care. I'm homeward and bone. <laughs> yeah, you, you, we're just not going to grab the one in the gutter for you. It's too hard to explain where it's at. That's a concerning thing. Well, you're probably going to truck through the entire gutter about three times if you don't know the exact location. It went that well for you? Yeah. Because <laughs> I had a good idea of where it was at, I just I didn't remember how to get there. 
Okay, so I'm in the first room of the... Okay, go down a floor. So you see how there's the iron cage and there's the like little dead end next to it? Uh, yeah. Illusionary wall. Okay. Or I guess hidden door if you would prefer to call them hidden doors instead of illusionary walls in this one. Yeah, those, those, that would be a hidden door, like, the illusory walls are the ones you would punch, in my opinion. Um, there's another hidden door. Yep, found that. Oh, does he really show up here? Yeah. That's where you, uh, out there on that ledge is also where you would get the original bracing knuckle ring. Which decreases how quickly your stuff breaks. Also, he has a dark orb curse attack. So you see how his eyes are red and glowing and yes. he's kind of emanating an aura? That is because he, when he shows up there, when he's like that... He, that's the same buff he gets when he hits you with a blue sword. That's why you don't let him hit you with a blue sword. But that one, there's just no way for you to prevent. He just shows up like that. That's interesting. And then there's the bracing knuckle ring. And then there's something across a jump. Uh, it's nothing worth grabbing. I can tell you that much. Okay, so those are the two pursuer fights in the Bastille. Uh, That's three. Oh yeah, because there's the one over in the Belfry area. Um, so there's no more there, right? Right. Okay. For the record, you should be at 11 plus 4. On your flask. How would I be at 11 plus 4? Okay. Let's start the bonus round. Warp 2 bridge approach. Okay. You remember the hut that you have to drop into to get soul spear? I think so. They added a chest in that hut that has the bone dust. Okay. So we did miss it because we didn't explore. Well, I mean, I figured you would have dropped in there while I was killing other things. No, I didn't. You was... <clears throat> I said I figured you would have, but when you didn't, I was just like, okay, well, I guess... I know there's Soul Spear in there. <laughs> I'm going to go put a point into my endurance before I go out there. By the way, we'll pick up the uh, charity case Estus for you, because there's 12 Estus upgrades in the game, but you can only use 11. So 12 flasks plus 5 is max.
So I'm just not having you try to find the one in the gutter. I mean, I really may as well, though. Why? You can just pick up the one in the Shrine of Amana. Uh, so, okay, so like, there's just like an extra one then? Yes, there's exactly one extra. That you couldn't use even if you got all of them. Right. If you pick up every single one, you will end up with one extra. For reasons. It's probably because they planned on the gutter one being missed. If I had except, to guess. Except there was an extra in the base game as well. Why does that change anything about how the gutter would work? Because there wasn't one in the gutter. Oh, was there not? Okay. No. Those sickle guys really hurt. Yep, and their weapons bypass blocking. Similar to the shuttle. Really? I'm pretty sure they do. I know the shuttle will hit, inflict damage through guards. Well, I probably don't fully bypass then. Probably. Yeah, I can block them. Let's see, where is the one that I need to pop into? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a surprise. I didn't expect, like, the Royal Sign Knight. Night. Is that what it is? It's S-Y-A-N. My pronunciation could be awful. Oh, there's the bone dust. So you remember how one of the three tutorial areas had a dude who's petrified in front of it? Yes. Spoiler alert, there's an S shard there. Okay. So that's the next one I'm going to go hit then. Because I, I knew, like, I, I remembered them putting a guy there and being like, that's weird. Like, not this playthrough, but like years ago. There's a pursuer encounter path there as well. Because of course there is. Yeah, it's near the coffin. In the yep. in the water. Yeah. You, I believe, have to kill both the enemies down there, though. Okay. You're gonna die more. 
That's okay. I've not popped a human effigy. So, I've just kind of accepted the way this is going to go. Um, Should I go, uh, eh, I guess I can always work through that bonfire if I need to. Question. You're missing... Do you have a bone dust you haven't used? Um. Yes. Yes, I do. I, I I currently have two on me. Okay, so that gets you to plus four. Yes, that'll take me to plus four. Okay, so that's all of the bone dust that we can currently get, because I'm pretty sure the last one's in the castle. So the first one on the right with the stone dude, right? Yeah. Also, you know the stone dude in the pathway between Hyde and No Man's Wharf? Um, maybe. In the water where they put a basilisk. I think so. That guy also blocks an Estus shard. And that should get you to 10 plus 4. So man, they uh... Really put them behind the stone dudes this time. Yeah, and if you notice, it really makes the healing miracles more worth using because you're less likely to end up with a high number of Estus shards super easily. <laughs> That archer had a lot of help. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I was gonna like, be like, did he? I, I had to like, you know, like heavy attack him twice, which is at least mildly unusual. Do I really just had to drop down this hole? Yeah. It's the Estus hole. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's only like three basilisk and one archer shooting you down. <laughs> there is. I managed to get one of the Basilisks on my drop down. Which is good, because the alternative was probably going to be death. You know why I did? A lightning, lightning spear. spear for you, a lightning spear for you, and a lightning spear for you. Yeah, I didn't have that luxury. I mean, you have the ability to lock on and you have a bow. You know what, you are technically correct. Okay, so what do you get for lighting all these torches around here, by the way? Nothing, I'm pretty sure. Then what would the point be? Just teaching you how the torch mechanic works. <laughs> okay, so I... I suggest you go left and kick down the tree first when you go through the fog door. That way you don't have to go through the tree every time. Yep, let me do that, let me do that, let me do that, let me do that. <laughs> let me do that. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, these fuckers are following me. <laughs> well, I was like, well, he's probably gonna die at least once. I think I'm gonna go back and rest of that bonfire just real quick. that's gonna be the shortest run and I might need it let's see are there any rings that I don't think there is 
No, the rings in this game just kind of suck. <laughs> I guess that's one thing I prefer about, like, one, is it doesn't feel like all of the rings suck. <laughs> Yeah. You know, whereas in like two and three, the rings are kind of lackluster. They they really kind of are. And I don't know what the best way to kill these two are. Yeah, I can't really tell you what's the best way to kill them. Um, bow honestly might be it. But I also don't know how much your bow does per shot. Well, I definitely died once. Gonna try bow. Gonna probably try bow. Because if I can kill one of them, I, I can be okay. But the problem is, is like, if I get picked Engaging up Engaging in melee combo, well, like me melee combat with the both of them. Yeah, um, so like, that's, th that's definitely something I will say about this game, is like, melee is a lot harder without like, going for like, a busted build, right? Compared to three. Oh yeah, no, me melee absolutely feels awful, especially if you don't have 105 uh, invincibility frames because you have, I think, I think it's less than fat rolling in Dark Souls One <laughs> for majority of the lower agility amounts. I know in three, all weight tiers have the same amount of iframes. So like, even if you're fat rolling in three, you have the same iframes as a fast roll. You just cover less ground. The issue is figuring out where the sweet spot is for agility for you. Yeah. Because, like, for me, I personally prefer 105, so I have 15 frames. I can... I, I do okay with where I'm at. Like, it's not as good as, like, 3 would be for me. Because I think I did pretty good dodge rolling in 3. You know? Yeah. Like, I mean, you played through it with me before. Like, yeah. I'm not terrible at the game. I think this game, also with its bad hitboxes and delayed hitboxes, is another reason why evading is harder. Yeah, some, some, some of the stuff is a little funky. Man, that Pursuer just popped right back up. Come on, buddy.
Again, no offense to anyone who actually likes this game. Uh, oh, that's bullshit. Okay, well, uh, you really don't want him to do that darkness attack. You really don't want him to do that. You want to know why? You want to know why you don't want him to do that? There's a really good reason why. Okay, why? It just keeps fucking going. 